The Core Factor with Corey Andrew. Hey, what's up? This is Corey Andrew here at Cielo Nightclub, and I'm actually speaking to another legendary performer and DJ. This is like a night of legends. This is almost like a Broadway night of. Ethel Merman's gonna come walking out. It's crazy. <laughs> it, this is okay. So James Anderson is a DJ who I'm familiar with and have spun around on the dance floor many times listening to but the thing about it is because you never know what DJs look like I have never known what he looked like and this is it's too dark <laughs> it's too dark and I was too <laughs> twisted so uh. this is James Anderson and he is joining me here and we're gonna speak a little bit about what he's been doing in, in the past and the present and uh, I'm just happy to be here so thank you James for giving me some of your time thank you for having me oh, of course yeah. of course so now you were actually um, a DJ at the legendary Roxy nightclub uh, I get these timelines mixed up but from 96 was I started uh, late 96, um, they had a, the other party going on, and then that that closed for a while, and then John Blair took over, and it became Roxy Saturday Nights again. Okay. There was, a, there was a point where it closed, and it reopened, and it became the thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And when, But when John reopened it, you were there. I was there as a regular resident DJ, yeah. A regular resident DJ with at Victor, the Roxy. Victor, Peter, and... Yes, with yeah. all the, the legends. Victor, yeah. James Anderson, I mean, you know, I saw the flyer every Saturday because I was there. Then the, uh, Sunday I was everybody was there. But, yeah, we were there, and then we did the Walk of Shame on Sunday. You know, you go out the club like which this. is the best part of New York. You know, it re well it used to be. This, it used to know, be. That's that's you know, this is like living in a movie. You know, it really is. You know, Sex in the City, for example, is one of those things that's a fantasy show, but it did kind of tap into some of that that life that we have. I think it's more ad fab. More, yeah, it, well, it is. It's actually ad fab and sex and in the city. It's <laughs> sex in the fab city. Right? It's a combo. But so you're also a remixer and producer, of yes, music, and not just a DJ, which is really important because you have to be uh, multifaceted in this city, especially in the, the the music and club scene. So, what are some of your musical projects that you have coming up? Uh, well, I have a, a, a production I'm doing right now with one of my best friends, Mitch Amtrak. Um, I've worked with him before um, on Peter Rover's label. Star 69, um, I did it, it's called It's a Jungle, and that came out as Tribal Madness, but this is a new project, which actually came from the vocals we did for that, okay. which I found in archives, and there was a sample in there that was just too much, she says, oh please, just saying that is tired, and I'm like, that's the one, oh please, that's a great name for a song, yeah. you can just go off on a tangent, exactly. and it's very simple, two words, so, oh please, I'm doing that, this is an original production of mine, and uh, we're going to eventually have other artists after this comes out, soon after, um, DJ Paulo, oh, Seven nice. Gordon, uh, Chubble Tread, Tarante, got to not pronounce that right. Um, <laughs> That's okay, we understand what you're I think Eddie Martinez, a few other people um, are going to also work on it. But also, you've done a lot of uh, past projects and I remixes. Have. So who are some of the artists that you've also remixed and done work with? Uh, well, I started, my first production was on Star 69 for Peter Roffer. Which we all know. Yes, Peter. And I did my first Peter. track was uh, Lula, the DJ of the music and me. Okay, nice. That was in I think '99, and then I also did Suzanne Palmer show me. Okay, Suzanne missed the, um, the, the vocals on that woman, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Suzanne Palmer. Of and also, uh, I also did It's a Jungle out there with Mitch, and that came out as a, also a side project for Peter, which was Tribal Madness. Okay, and that came out on Star 69, or? It came out on Star 69. Okay, Star nice, which is one of the legendary dance labels. I mean, back when there was still vinyl. Too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Peter came out of nowhere with yeah, that, yeah, but yeah. he totally, you know, was established a yeah, sound he gave and me a scene, a, and so. He gave me a great break, and I was very thankful for that. That's know? wonderful. Well, you know. well, and we're grateful and thankful that he gave you that break, too. Because I know, like I said, I have twirled many a night. <laughs> Y'all thought it was a tornado on that dance floor, but it was Corey Andrew <laughs> twirling. I've seen that Anderson. before. I've yes. seen the tornadoes. You were not in Oklahoma. You were in New York City. That was me twirling. But thank you so much, James, for stopping by and talking to us here on The Core Factor. And I look forward to all the great records you just talked about. Thank and you. I want to hear a lot more from you. Maybe we'll work together as well. I would definitely, like that. Definitely. Okay, thank, thank you. Oh, thank no you. handshake. <laughs> We do hugs here in the Core Factory. And so. come twirl on the Monster on Friday nights. Every Friday I'm there. At the Monster, you By the it. way. Or right. Fire Island, the Pines. Now the Fire Island Pines. <laughs> yes, we didn't talk about that, but yes, you also do Fire Island. I Let's do Fire Island, Island um, pretty much the whole summer. Um, the dates right now, I mean, they kind of go month to month with the dates, but right now I'm doing Memorial Day weekend, Friday Pavilion. Next week I'm doing Low Tea at the Blue Whale. Nice. It's okay. a great place because you get everybody from all around the world. It's really the place to be seen and, and you to get, get families known. too so you get like straight it's, people gay it's, it's really, really good PR too yeah. because people know you get to know you there and it's connections as well as 
it's you know it's a big family there. It's great. Fire it's Island. Great. It's, it's the Gay Hamptons, basically. It is. So that's where. Well, wonderful. Well, maybe I'll see you out there twirling, and I'll be in Definitely. the water twirling out there. In I Fire expect Island. to see you there. Okay. Thanks so much, baby. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. So that was a wonderful interview with James Anderson. I'm so happy you guys are still hanging in there with us, and um, we're gonna actually have some great interviews coming up next from some other performers, and so we'll be right back with the Core Factor with Corey Andrew. Hey, what's up? I'm back. This is Corey Andrew. I'm here at CLL. The night is really just continuing on. It's getting live up in here, and I'm getting some great guests stopping by who I'm talking to. And now, um, I'm honored to also speak with one of the, the best promoters in New York City of an event called The F Word, right? And uh, Splash. It's, at, at Splash, The F Word at Splash, and this is Mr. Yusuf Extravaganza. Oh. And one of the promoters from that event with Mark Nelson as Correct. well. And for Micah. And for Micah, yes, can't leave for Micah well, out. And an, and an excellent array of other wonderful New York City personalities. Right, they all come together to make this the, the destination now for, for like a hot spot for New York City because we don't really have many options, but this one is a hot option. Absolutely. Right? We were a little concerned, you know, about our move from Rebel to Splash a while ago. But ultimately, it's worked out incredible. We have an incredible turnout every week. It continues to grow. The following is amazing. We were just voted best weekly party by Edge Online Magazine. So nice. that's really big, you know, and um, we're real happy to be working with the Splash crowd. And um, hopefully, we'll be there for a long time, bringing good music and good parties. Well, and also bringing celebrities. I mean, I saw, I was reading one of the magazines, I think Next Magazine, and I looked and I'm like, wait, is that Kylie Minogue? At that splash, yes. you know, but it was the F word party that she really came to yeah. to be a part of. That did she perform? She did. In the last six months, Kylie we've had some names yeah. like Kylie Minogue. We've had Katy Perry. Yes, I we saw had the Charo. Katy Perry. Yeah. Charo. Okay, well, you know, that's forget. You know, For, yeah. forget Kylie. They had Charo. Charo. But a you know, legendary diva. Wow, I love Charo. Charo's um, the only. Spanish person I know whose accent gets stronger the longer she stays in America. It's I agree. Great. I agree. That's kind of her thing, I guess. But I love Charo, though. That party now is at Splash, and so you guys will be there. You think that's going to be the, the home of the party? Well, it's the home of the party now, and it's the home of the party to stay. So, okay. Yeah. What else are you involved with? Are there promotions around the city as well? Or do I do. You I, do I work with. I do all the main promotions for Hades Music. I work with Jerome Farley. Uh, with Splash, different groups. We have the Queen's Pride parties, um, as oh, well okay. as the uh, New York City Pride party, the annual one that we have coming up. It's always on Fifth Avenue, oh, rooftop. Okay. It's oh, amazing, nice, nice. yeah. Okay. I've, I've actually done the Heritage of Pride, uh, the rally. Um, maybe three years, I think about three years I've done the actually, rally, actually, with nice. Michael, Le, Le, I can't remember, Michael Levan? Levine, yes. Levine. Levine. Yes, Levine so he's really wonderful. He saw me performing once and said, hey, you want to do my event? I'm like, I thought he had like a birthday party at his house. He was like, no, it's Bryant Park, few people, a few thousand folks. So that's been a great event. Michael's though. definitely a good person to know and a yeah. good person to network with in the community. Yeah, he's really, he's yeah. really been wonderful. Well, I am going to look forward to an F word night. Excellent. At Splash on a Friday. And I even know that once, I think when I went there at the old location, Adam Lambert was there. Yes, that is correct. And I, I think Adam, I hear he likes to, had yes. yes, but he like, but Adam and he fit right in. <laughs> he fit right in. Imagine that Adam Lambert fit into a gay club. The Core Factor with Corey Andrew.